Going, everybody. Hello. Good Hello. evening. Good evening, sir. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening I thank you. Excellent. It's nice to see you. It's uh today's our, our Friday, right? <laughs> it's not Friday, but our, our <laughs> almost Friday. our Friday. like a Friday. Yes, our Friday is today. Nuestro viernes yes. es hoy. Yeah. We don't have class tomorrow. Right. Yeah. So we're going to have three days off. And what do you do on, on your weekends, uh, uh, Rafael? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, you don't know yet. I think I'm going to to see a, a movie. Oh, okay. I thought uh, you were going to say that uh, you are going to see a car race. A car race, okay. A car race, no? You don't like cars? Yes, yes. You yes. do, huh? Okay, very good. Yeah, I see I see. you have a collection of uh, uh, little cars behind <laughs> you. In, in my back. <laughs> yes, your background. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. Um, hello, Raul Reyes, how are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing fine. I am fine. Excellent. It's nice to see you. Me, All right. It's nice to see you too. Very good. And Oscar Alexander, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing fine. And how are those lungs working? My bones. Lungs, lungs, your pulmones. Lungs, uh, L U N G S, lungs. Yes, ah, uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, they are more strong every day. Thank you, very good. It's nice to hear that. Very good. Keep up, thank you. Uh, keep up the, the good thing, okay. Thank you, very good. And Denise Grisel, how are you today? My goodness, what happened to you, Denise? Why are, why are you so okay. why are you so serious? Sorry? Why are you so serious? Um, I'm not serious. I'm tired. I'm oh, tired. <laughs> but okay. 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 And what did you do at work today? Um, I don't go to the work, but um, i going to buy and... I'm tired because I um, drive motorcycle and oh, it's very tired. You ride a motorcycle. That is very exciting, huh? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> because it, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. But yeah. you like you like danger, right? Mm, so so. Yeah, more or less. Very good. Excellent. Well, good for you. Good for you. Excellent. I love motorcycles, but I don't know how to ride them. Yes, so I never, uh, you know, were able to learn how to drive one. But uh, yeah, they look nice. All right, very good, excellent. Monica Mungia, how are you? I'm very tired, also. Tired too. Oh my goodness, everybody's tired, huh? Okay, yeah. uh, it it is understandable. Yes, it's a long day today, and it's a uh, is uh you know Thursday by Thursday everybody is kind of tired waiting for uh, Saturday right but uh, we almost there yeah yeah. yeah 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 we we are almost there yeah one more day and we yeah. gonna be on Friday okay very good excellent and uh, hello Mr Rodriguez how are you hi how are you. I'm doing fine. fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you for asking. And uh, and how was your day? Uh, this day uh, was very tired. I, uh, very hard. I'm very tired. Oh, you are very tired too. Uh, did you did you uh, uh, did you have any classes I today? Huh? Did you have any uh, classes today? Yes, I, I have class all morning. 
Okay, in the morning. Okay, very good. And are you online or or uh, face to face? Oh, they're, they're okay. They're mixed, mixed, face to face and and online. Okay. Um, Both of them, right? To... Both mo moralities, yes, face to face and online. Very good. Uh, two, two, two moralities. Yes. Uh -huh. Both of them. Yes. Both. Both. Las dos modalidades. Las dos. Both. Yes. Como, Both. Con B, con B. B -O -T -H. B -O -T -H. B-O-T-H. B-O-T-H. Both. Okay. B-O-T-H. Both. Hmm. Son las dos modalidades. Both. Both of them. Okay. Very good. Well, the, welcome to your class. Uh, and um, yesterday we were talking... Uh, can somebody tell me what uh, uh, we were talking about yesterday? Hi, Chrissy Munoz. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, very good. And uh, yesterday. Yesterday yes. we are talking about adjectives okay adjectives is that true um, yeah. yes okay. adjectives okay adjectives in in adverbs yesterday Conjun conjunctions Con Con Conjunctions, yes, conjunctions. Conjunctions. Very good, conjunctions. Yes. And what do we use uh, <laughs> conjunctions for, um, Elvis? What do we use conjunctions for? Mm. What do Hello, we use? Good Hello, good evening, uh, Elvis. What do we use conjunctions for? words for um sorry teacher i <clears throat> right now I, in in the class yes yes but uh, <laughs> what the, uh, oh okay repeat again please yes. what do we use conjunction words for um for the take a decision take a decision i don't know if yeah, okay good... okay okay not, not a problem don't worry don't worry monica munguia what do we use conjunctions words for I use this for connect uh, sentence and yes. I yes. 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 No, yes. yes, we use them to connect uh, uh, classes, sentences, classes, uh -huh. yes, sentences, sentences and words in a class. Word in a yes, in, yes. A, in a sentence, in a sentence or classes. Yes, we use them to connect. And what are those conjunctions words that we learned? yesterday Oscar Alexander uh, the conjunctions uh, were and and but and but uh-huh very good and what uh, were the other two uh Noemi Jeseni I'm sorry teacher I don't yesterday I left the class because I am very Sick. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you better today? I so. Okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Tricia, what were the other two words that we learned? Uh, Oscar says uh, it was but and and. What were the other two that we learned? Um, 
But, however. However, yes, however. How, um, I don't remember. You don't remember, very good. But you remember, however, very good. But the. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. Yes, you remember, however, very good. Excellent. Is uh, the most common. Yes, the most okay. common one. Okay, Vanessa. So your your classmates said that we were uh, learning about the conjunctions words and the conjunctions words, uh, they said we use them to connect uh, classes, uh, to connect the sentences and to connect words in within the classes or a sentence. And the words that they mentioned were, were um, uh, but, and, and however. Is there any other word that you remember that we went over yesterday? Yes, uh, I remember also. Although, although, yes. Although, 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 although yes. Also. Although, yes. Yes. So we have but and however and although. Yes. Raul. But, but and. But, yes. And however and although. Although, yes. Yeah, or, although. Although. Remember that I explained that although or though is the same thing. Yes. Though. Okay. And uh, Raul Reyes. Okay. Raul Reyes. What, um, uh, what is the use of the word but? Sin embargo. ¿Para qué usamos la word but? Uh, for uh, I use for union sentence. No. Uh, different sentence. No. No. Okay, Rafael. What do we use the? Uh, what is the use of the word but? To explain and let me see. Eso lo vimos ayer. Yes, Tardamos but I don't una, remember. Una hora. Okay, Walter Vasquez. What is the use of the word but? For contrasting information. Hmm? For contrasting information. Contrasting information. Contrasting information. So that means that if you ever use the word but in a sentence you are contrasting one class with another class remember if i said well i eat pizza but pizza is too fatty yes i like pizza but it is too fatty yes estoy in, con, in contrasting the first class. The first class says, I like pizza. Me gusta la pizza. Pero la segunda class, con la palabra but, indicates that it's the opposite. But it is too fatty. Yes. Me gusta la pizza, pero es, es muy grasosa. Yeah. Estoy contrasting. Yes. Okay. So the word but in a sentence, eh, we use the word but to contrast the first class with the second class. What do we use the word and for in a sentence? Anybody? Cualquiera que me puede contestar. La palabra and. And is using connection or connected to sentence. I remember that, for example, I like to eat pupusas and drink soda? Mm, no. No. Anybody else? For additional information, for additional Addition. information in a Add sentence. Yes, additional information to the sentence. So it adds information to the sentence. If I use the word and, that means that I'm using 
I'm adding more information to the sentence. Remember that we said he likes to put cheese and ham in his sandwich. So he likes to put cheese and adding and ham in his sandwich. So the word and mean that means that I am adding more additional information to the sentence. So it's not for connecting, it's for adding information. We use uh, um, conjunctions to connect clauses and to, to clauses together, or sentences together, or words together. We use con con conjunction words. We use conjunction words, but the use of each conjunction word is different in different cases. In the case of if we use but, the use of the of the word but which is a conjunction word is to contradict the first class with the second class if i use and is to add additional information to the first class okay and although and however the use of although and however although or however is the same as a, as the but is to contrast the information. Yes, I don't know if you still remember or if you were able to write down the um, the uh, sample sentences that we did yesterday. I advise you to read them, read them and go over them uh, wh whenever you have time. So you can get the information right in your head and uh, you will be able to use it because that's, that's the, uh, the bottom line is for you to use the information that we go over in the classes, okay? So if I say, yesterday we went over uh, a sentence that the read as follows. We were going to the park. It started to rain. However, yes, however, yeah. We went to the park. Yes, we were going to the park. That's the first class. The second class is, it started to rain, however, yes? And we say that the, what the however means, Raul Reyes? Uh, means, uh, sin embargo. Sin however. embargo, yes, however. So, entonces, we were going to the park, íbamos al parque, it started to rain, comenzó a llover, yes? Y le ponemos el... However, yes. Sin embargo, íbamos al parque. We were going to the park. Vamos a decir, sin embargo, comenzó a llover. Yes. However, yes. Contrasting de que íbamos al parque, ¿verdad? Íbamos, pero comenzó a llover. However, sin embargo. Entonces, las con, con, conjunction words se usan para unir dos clases. Pero esas conjunction words, cada una tiene su uso. Como lo acabo de, de, de repetir. La end is for adding additional information to the classes. El but is to contradict la, la información de la primera class con la segunda class. Y el however y el though son el mismo uso que tiene el but. Nada más que va al final. Y estuvimos viendo que la posición de ella lo podemos poner después de la, de la cama también. However, it started to rain. Yes. Y no hay ningún problema. Yes. Estamos hasta ahí, hasta ahí tenemos o oh, seguimos. Yo creo que necesitamos otro más información, ¿verdad? Porque veo que estamos no estamos no está bien claro y tiene que estar bien bien claro eso, como el agua, no como la chata, ¿ya? Yeah? Tiene que estar clear as the water, as crystal water, no clear as the chata, ¿ya? Yeah? No, no lo queremos claro como la chata, ¿ok? Entonces voy a voy a uh, I'm, I will give you an explanation uh, word by word, okay? Maybe that way um, you, you will clarify any doubt that you might have. Okay, so let me share the, the screen with you and I will, um, I will start with the but, okay? But, the word but, but. So but, and I'm gonna give you the, the meaning for but, okay, but. We say this pero, pero, we can use it as a pero. 
we can use it as a sino, yeah, sino. We can say salvo, también. It can mean salvo. It can mean excepto, 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 yeah. Y sin embargo, que lo que vimos, uh, we saw, uh, we say that uh, yesterday, sí. En embargo. ¿Así está bien o, o es como M? Esa? Embargo, embargo. M. With M and with B. Embargo, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, sin embargo. M and B. N, ¿así? N. M, M. M. Yes. Así está bien. M. Embargo. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, como dijera yo, eh, me gusta, pero está muy caro. Me gusta. I pero... love it. But... I like I it, love but it, it's, it's too, too expensive. expensive. I, I like it, but mm -hmm. it's too expensive. Okay. Too expensive. Entonces, en este caso, diríamos, but lo estamos usando como, ¿eh? pero, ¿verdad? Estamos usando como, pero, ¿sí? I like it, but it's, it's too expensive. Lo estamos usando como, pero, yes? I like it, but it's too expensive. Yes? Yeah. Uh, y dijimos ayer um, um, otro que dijimos eh, me gusta sin embargo no lo voy a comprar como dijéramos me gusta sin embargo no lo voy a comprar I like it however I like it I'm going I, I like it but I Hmm? I like it, but but I don't gonna buy it. I like it, but I I'm, don't I'm not buy it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I like it, but but I'm not gonna. Buying. Not buying it. Buying it. I'm not buying it. Yes, I like it, but I'm not buying it. Okay. Lo voy a comprar. Ah, me gusta. Pero, sin embargo, okay. No, lo voy a comprar. No. I don't. I don't. I don't go to, no, ya, yo no estoy comprando, no, I don't go to. I'm buy. not, I'm not, to buy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, o sea, no uh -huh. lo estoy comprando. I'm not buying no it. No lo voy a comprar. Uh -huh. No lo voy a comprar, no estoy comprando. ¿Dónde está el? No estoy comprando. Ajá. I am, aquí está el verbo to be, I am. I am. Uh -huh. I'm not. No lo, no Entonces, con este no puedo usar el don't. No puedo usar Pero el yo don't. Decía, yo decía sin el sin to be, sino que uh -huh. I don't go to buy. No uh -huh. lo voy a no. Lo, no, no se puede. No. And where can I use however? However, ahorita I'm not Um, ahorita lo que les estoy tratando de um, what I'm trying to do right now is the use of but so but it would be clearly as crystal when to use it ahorita podemos mm -hmm. usar el however yes mm -hmm. I like it um, I like it yes podemos usar aquí I am not uh, buying it however yes I like it. I'm not buying it, however. Yeah. 
I like it. I'm not buying it, however. Así, pero la expresión tiene que ser así, ¿verdad? I'm, I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not buying it, however. Yes. Entonces, es, lo puedo usar el however ahí. Pero ahorita no quiero confundirlos. I don't want to confuse you guys. I want to, I want you to uh, have this one crystal uh, as water. Quiero que tengan esto claro como el agua. Yes. Este, el but, el use of the but. I like it, but I'm not buying it. Entonces, ¿qué estamos haciendo con este but? Contradicting lo que dije que me gusta. Yes. Me gusta, pero no lo voy a comprar. Yes. Sin embargo, no lo voy a comprar. Yes. Sin embargo, no lo voy a comprar. Yeah. Vamos a ver. No sé eh, Rodrigo Rod, uh, Dagoberto, yeah. Dagoberto eh, no es un arquitecto, sino un maestro de matemáticas. ¿Cómo diríamos ahí? Acuérdese, el BAT, siempre, vamos a usar el BAT. Dagoberto no es un arquitecto, sino He's un ingeniero. Not an architect. ¿Perdón? Dagoberto is not an architect. Eh, sí, Dagoberto no es un arquitecto, sino un maestro But de, de matemática. Entonces, le is, me dijo Dagoberto, yeah, Dagoberto is not, me dijo, you say is not. Uh -huh. It's not an architect. An Ar architect. Architect, very good. Architect. Uh -huh. Y ahora, now? Teacher. Yes, sir. Acuérdense, estamos usando el, el uso. But. El, 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 el but. Uh -huh. but. But he is a um, math teacher. But uh -huh. he is, or his, ¿verdad? His is a math teacher. Very good. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí este no, no quiere decir pero, ¿verdad? Pero, para que vean ustedes que tienen todas estas, estas cosas de aquí, ¿ya? que lo podemos eh, 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 a, aplicar dependiendo del contexto de la oración. Depending on the uh, sentence context. ¿sí? Aquí dice, Dagoberto is not an architect, but he's a math teacher. ¿Yes? Entonces, but es si no un maestro de matemáticas. Yes. Yes. Ok. Entonces vamos a decir, excepto, 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 um, mira, por Rafael, todos pasaron el examen de inglés. Excepto por Rafael, todos pasaron el examen de inglés. All pass the English exam, uh, English test, but Rafael. English exam. Hmm. English test. Everybody. Everybody approved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody. Everybody. <clears throat> Approve. Everybody, muy bien. Yes, everybody. Everybody. Approve the exam. No aprobó, ¿verdad? Estamos pas pasó. Pasó. Pass English, ah. English test. Pass. Except for Rafael. Pass. Everyone pass the exam. Everyone pass the exam. Sí. ¿Qué exam es? English. English. English okay, exam. falta falta el, el adjective. English. English exam. exam. English exam. Mm -hmm. Coma, but Rafael. But Rafael. 
fa el bien ok entonces esto uh -huh. eh, estaría escrito en español verdad en español todos dice dice todo todos eh, todo el mundo everybody passed todo el mundo pasó el examen de eh, pero excepto dijimos sí, excepto. excepto Rafael entonces esto está en español verdad en inglés lo escribiríamos así yeah. así lo escribiríamos en inglés but Rafael Rafael but Rafael but Rafael yeah. but Rafael everybody passed the English exam yes entonces así lo diríamos en inglés si lo, si, si aquí va primero but Rafael everybody passed the ex English exam y en el otro caso sería en español lo pondríamos todos, todo el mundo pasó el examen de inglés excepto Rafael yeah, excepto Rafael but Rafael Everybody passed the this, English exam. Teacher, this is a rule, uh, but Rafael, in el caso de excepto, va antes. Mm -hmm. But Rafael. Exa uh -huh. Porque no podemos decir, eh, so, no, si decimos, uh, todo el mundo pasó el examen de, de, el examen de inglés. Excepto Rafael. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, yesterday uh, we have an example. Alonso mm -hmm. loves every vegetables, mm -hmm. comma, but celery. Entonces es, but celery, comma, Alonso loves every vegetables. Mm -hmm. But celery, but celery. Alonso loves... Okay, before mm -hmm. or after, teacher? Mm -hmm. But celery. We start with but celery. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. En el caso no. de este, en el caso de este, okay. okay. Si sí, fíjense aquí, lo podemos, si lo ponemos aquí, yes. Entonces, ponemos everybody, everybody passed the English exam. Todos, todo el mundo pasó el examen de inglés, yes. But, but, but Rafael, sí. Aquí. Lo traducimos nosotros uh -huh. y lo traducimos en español. Yes, en español. Yeah. Y, y a mí me lo van a entender. Porque todo el mundo pasó el examen de inglés. Excepto Rafael. ¿sí? En, en español. Pero si yo lo pongo aquí, como el norteamericano. Te lo voy a decir. Este. But Rafael. Everybody, everybody passed the English exam. Yeah. Entonces, ¿de qué forma lo va a decir? La forma como usted lo vea más conveniente. Usted lo ve, but Rafael, everybody passed the English exam. It's acceptable. Si usted lo pone, everybody passed the English exam, but Rafael. Yeah. Yes. Ok. Entonces, no es una regla como el adjetivo que va primero o el adverbio que va después de, del verbo o close, closest to the, to the verb. En este caso, le estoy enseñando las dos formas como usted lo puede decir. De, de la forma de español o la forma de inglés. ¿Y cambia algo? No, no cambia nada. ¿Sí? Entonces el bat lo estamos viendo con diferentes formas, dependiendo de eh, la traducción que usted le da. Le puede ser pero, si no, salvo, excepto, sin embargo. ¿Sí? Sin embargo. Entonces, de, dependiendo, ya no lo vea de la forma como lo veía antes. Solamente pero, 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 pero. Ya si no, ya tiene, now you have a different... Uh, Ways uh, of uh, uh, giving the interpretation to the word but. You see it as a connection word, conjunction word, connection word, conjunction word. You see it as a contrasting, yes, word. And you see it as a different uh, meaning. 
pero si no, salvo, except, sin embargo. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Ahora, let's Teacher, see. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, can I say everybody pass the English, the English exam? Exactly. But Rafael doesn't. No. Exam, no. but Rafael doesn't. No, porque ahí está haciendo una redundancy. ¿Cuál es la redundancy? Que el but, dijimos que lo usamos para qué? Para contradecir lo, la primera clase. Si en la primera clase usted está diciendo, everybody passed the exam, but Rafael. Entonces ya estamos diciendo que Rafael fue el único que no pasó el examen. Cuando usted está diciendo, but Rafael didn't pass, ya el but, ya, ¿qué tiene que hacer ahí el but? Nada, ya. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, el, el, Thank you. But didn't Rafael ya es una extra a información que está poniendo ahí que no se necesita. ¿Ya? Yeah? Se llama redundancy. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. Yes. Ok. Ok. Entonces, uh, um, Quiero que me identifiquen aquí en la oración. Vamos a ver si podemos identificar. I love. Um, imaginémonos que tenemos un, 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 un uh, pair of shorts. Uh, blue, jean, blue jean shorts. Yes? Un, un par de eh, 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 shorts blue jean. Yeah? Y son, son bien bonitos. Y usted dice, I love them. Come on. But they are too expensive. You should buy them. Should buy them. Though. You should buy them though. You look Amazing. However, I should save up. Okay. Vamos a ver qué es lo que estamos diciendo aquí en esta oración. I love them. Remember the blue blue jean shorts. I love them, but they're too expensive. Luego llega otra persona y dice, you should buy them, though. You look amazing. However, I should say that, save up. Ok, entonces este aquí, cambiamos y le ponemos una, un period. All right. ¿Alguien me la puede interpretar? Anybody can give me the interpretation of this. Uh, um... I, I could try. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, me encantan, pero son demasiado caros. Eh, tú deberías de comprarlos, sin embargo. Bueno, however, en este caso puede ser. Puede ser sin embargo. Could be, sin embargo. Eh, no, porque vea como lo que dice ahí. You look amazing. Aunque. Okay. 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 Entonces, me encantan, pero son muy, son muy caros. Tú deberías comprarlos. Este, aunque tú luces increíble con... No sé, mm. sin embargo, eh, sin eh, embargo, no sé cómo traducir. There we go, porque es que el however, es, el however no. tiene, le dimos tres meanings ayer. ¿Cuáles son? However. 
Aunque si no, quiera, ese... sin embargo. No, no. No, ese... no obstante, de todos modos, sin embargo. De todos modos, de Beco. Ahora ve ahí. Uh -huh. No obstante, de todos modos, sin embargo. Denle el meaning ahí de, de cualquiera de esos tres. A ver cuál le queda ahí. You look amazing, however. However. Te miras increíble de todos modos. De todos modos, acuérdense que se va primero eso, al principio. De todos modos. De todos modos, de todos modos te, te, te quedan increíbles o luces increíbles. Luces, yeah, you look. Y sin embargo, debería uh -huh. Debería, ajá, debería llevártelos. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora de la interpretación, que, que, oiga, que se oiga el flow de la interpretación. Me gustan, pero son demasiado caros. Tú deberías... No, tú deberías. ¿Por, ¿Por qué, Raúl Reyes? ¿Por qué no? No está mal, ¿verdad? Pero ¿por qué no debo de decir tú deberías? ¿Por qué no? ¿Tú deberías? Sí, ¿por qué no digo? Porque, tiene... Porque ya está hablando con esa persona, entonces... Entonces, ya... entonces, digo, ¿tú deberías o deberías solamente? Ah, deberías. Deberías. Le dijimos deberías, que era una redundancy, redundancy, era una redundancia. Uh -huh. Redundancy. Yes. Entonces, por eso, no, si yo digo, you should, no le voy a decir, tú deberías, uh -huh. porque es... Tú deberías, ya está incluido ahí, ¿verdad? Es como, como les dije yo, eh, yo, Raúl Reyes, yo te vi con mis propios ojos. ¿Ah? ¿Eh? Me va a decir Raúl Reyes, ¿y con cuáles otros ojos me puedes ver? ¿Sí? Si sí, yo digo, yo te vi con mis propios ojos, ese mis propios ojos. Ya, ya, yo te vi, ya están ahí, yo te vi con cuáles ojos, solo con los míos te puedo ver. ¿Sí? Entonces hay una redundancia, lo mismo en inglés pasa lo mismo, en español, en todos los, los lenguajes pasa lo mismo. ¿Que está malo? No, no está malo, porque no, 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 nadie va a ver, hey, mira, ahí hiciste una redundancia, pero nosotros ya sabemos que no se tiene que decir así. Entonces, si sí, cuando estemos interpretándolo... O sea, no para Uh -huh. ya no te, por ejemplo, I love them. Yeah, me encantan. Yes. Yo no voy a decir, me encantan ellos. Yes. Uh -huh. pues, ellos me encantan. So, sino que me encantan. Yes. I love them. Me encantan. Uh, but they are too expensive. Pero son muy caros. Yes. Deberías uh, comprarlos, uh, sin embargo. Yeah. De todos modos, te ves. Fantástico. De todos modos, te ve fantástico, ¿sí? Y luego, I should save up. ¿Qué dice ella? Debería coleccionarlo. ¿Perdón? Debería coleccionarlo. No. Ahorrar. Ahorrar. Debería ahorrar. Debería. Para, ¿Para qué? Para comprar. Sí. Ah, coleccionarlo sería así, vea. I should. Uh, collect them. Este es coleccionarlos. Collect them. Uh, I should save up. Es debería ahorrar. Es debería ahorrar. I should save up. Save up es ahorrar. Y up quiere decir que va incrementando, ¿verdad? Es una es una uh, phrase phrase or word. Una palabra de frase. ¿Ok? Entonces. ¿Alguno de ustedes no ve bien claro esto todavía? Porque esto ya es la aplicación de las palabras que hemos estado viendo. Es la aplicación de eso. Si alguno de ustedes no ve bien claro esto, dígame, please tell me, so I can do something else, or find something else, so I can um, explain to a little bit more of this. So, entonces, el should lo estamos usando aquí como qué. ¿Es como una order o es como un advice? Advice. Es como un advice, yes. So every time you use the word should, it is, you are giving an advice to your friend, to your daughter, 
to your father, to your family, to your wife, you should, I should, yes. I should change my attitude, yes. ¿Qué digo aquí? I should um, change my attitude, yes. I should, I should change my attitude. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí, uh, Oscar? Debería cambiar mi actitud. Debería cambiar mi actitud. Yes, I should say, I should change my attitude. Yes. Um, entonces, el should lo, lo hacemos nosotros como un advice. Every time. You should go to the doctor. Uh, Raúl, you should go to the doctor. You're coughing too much. Yes. Yeah. You should go to see a doctor. You are coughing. Cough. Coughing. Cough. Coughing. 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 I'll say maybe it's a palabra. Cough. Cough. Coughing. Coughing, 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 co
Karina, we said, Yolanda, Elvis, Oscar, Monica. We did platinum for uh, I talk with, um, I don't know, in English corporativos, but uh -huh. with someone else, about the program that say, I don't remember who say that, that with the answer. That the answer? Are wrong. Uh -huh, are they, I don't remember what exercise was, but if you write the answer, was wrong. Doesn't matter if the word that you use it. Okay. I don't, I don't remember what exercise, but someone yesterday tell about it. Okay. Um, I was I was talking to someone about the exercise two point six two point six. I, I the, that, that's exactly. the first question was uh, yes, it had two answers, and it's supposed uh -huh. to have it's supposed to have only one answer. Mm -hmm. The first one, yes, and I reported uh, to the uh, technical support at uh, the company, and they say that they will they will uh, um, uh, make the correction that to that uh, uh, exercise number two point six, I think, is the one. I think, uh, and also I write I write the all the sentence, and uh -huh. only we was only necessary write the the, the answer. The answer, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I I. I write all the sentences with the answer. Oh, okay. I know so what's wrong. Oh, okay. So I with someone it say me the somebody told only me. Only the necessary to the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you have a question so on the platform, just write it on the uh, on the chat, and I will go ahead and uh, and answer you back. Or I, if there's no problem for you, me calling you, I will do it for you. Or we can do a Zoom uh, a session and, and go over the platform together with uh, anybody. If anybody feels like uh, you need an extra instructions on the platform, just uh, let me know. Just uh, send a message on the chat and I will be more than glad to have a, a Zoom chat with you um, you know, one one to one, so there's no problem. If you need that uh, extra assistance, okay, on the platform, yes. And uh, I just want to mention that uh, the word um, that we're using right now, a uh, answer, because I I have heard that uh, a lot of people uh, uh, said answer. This word over here, even though you you see that it uh, the spelling includes the W. It's, uh, the W is a uh, mute. So whenever you say the, this word, just say it answer, answer. Don't, uh, don't pronounce the W because the W is mute. So you're gonna say answer. This is the, the pronunciation in the word will be answer, answer. This will be the uh, spelling, okay? This will be the spelling of the word but the pronunciation would be answer. Okay. Answer. There we go, Monica. Okay. Yeah, it sounds pretty. It sounds very good. Yes, answer. Yes, um, because sometimes. Answer. Yes, instead of answer. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay. So let's uh, <laughs> let let's do the exercise on the platform. Uh, I think yesterday we did uh, six point. Uh, um uh 2.6 i think so yes let's see just a second one second please Are you able to see the platform with me? Okay. Um, see.
So we won't, we went over to typey. Remember that we did this one yesterday. Uh, typey yes. is very nice, everyone. Yeah, we finished this one and we got it more right. And the next one will be uh, 1.12. Some of you are just very ahead of this one, but uh, I'm just going over with the, the other ones who, who are not there yet. So this one says uh, complete this conversation using can, can't, should, and shouldn't. Uh, can't um, is a, a possibility auxiliary verb, or we can use it as a verb, and can't uh, is the one that uh, is the negative side. And should is the uh, um, the one we were uh, going over today. You should go to the doctor, the one we use um, as an advice. And shouldn't is the negative side. The one that, that you shouldn't go to the movie by yourself. No deberías ir a las, a, al cine tu, tu, tu sola. Shouldn't. So in this case, it says, I decided whether to go on my vacation. And the options that we have is I, I can't or I can. Um, so the one I can't decide where to go on my vacation or I can decide where to go on my vacation. Which one is the correct answer? Can't or can? Can't. Can't. I can't. Yeah, because it's saying I can't. I can't decide where to go on my vacation. No puedo decidir dónde ir en mis vacaciones. Very good. Now the next one is you, uh, Yolanda. Can you read the uh, question and tell me what the answer is? You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. You should go to India. Yes. It's my favorite place to visit. Yes. Está, está dándole un consejo. Uh, it shouldn't, como que no tiene coherencia, ¿verdad? No deberías de ir a India. Es mi lugar favorito. Yeah, no, como que no tiene, no tiene coherencia, ¿verdad? Very good. Good job, Yolanda. Uh, Cristian Muñoz. Number two. Number two and the answer, please. I am planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you when do you think I should go? Yes. Yes. I'm planning to go to Bogota, Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? Very good. Yes. Okay, Rafael, B. Good job, Kisa. Okay, um, Raul, if you can help me, please. You 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 oh, should okay. go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Okay, thank you very much. You should go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Very good. Okay, Raul, number three. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Yes, should I rent a car when I arrived in Cairo? What do you recommend? Very good, excellent. Um, Karina, B, please. No. You should finally use the subway. It's fast and efficient. Okay. No, you should definitely use the subway it's fast and efficient yes should i rent a car when i arrive in cairo what do you recommend no you should definitely use the subway it's fast and efficient 
Very good, excellent. Now let's see, um, Rodrigo, number four, please. Dagoberto. Number four. Uh, yes, please. Where, uh, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Very good. Where can I get some nice jewelry in I... Bangkok? Yes. Okay. Where can I get? Yes, very good. Excellent. All right. This is a question, no? Okay. Where can I get? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but the sentence doesn't have the question, question mark. The question mark, yes. Uh -huh. It's a question, but the sentence doesn't have a question mark. So it is number four, A. So it should have a question mark over here. Very good, Yolanda. Uh, Vanessa de Los Angeles, B part. Yes. Um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't miss the weekend market. Mm -hmm. It's the best place for bargains. For bargains. Yes. Very good. Remember, be careful with the words T-H-E. Yes. Remember, it's not the, it's the or the, depending if the, for the word that follows the word. The. It, starts with uh, uh, vowel sound or uh, consonant sound. So in this case, both okay. of them are consonant. So it should read the weekend, the yeah. best. Yes. So very good. You, sh okay. you shouldn't, you say you shouldn't, right? Yes, yes. Yes, you shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Very good, excellent. Okay, if I can have uh, Elvis Abrego, can you help me with uh, number five, please? We are almost done. Yes. Um, you. What? What? Mm hmm. Uh, what can what can I see the from the uh, Eiffel Tower? Okay, can't or can? Can't. Oh, with T. Can't, can't. like this. Oh, can. 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 Okay. Can. What can I see from the uh, uh, Eiffel Tower? Yes, can. Very good. Yeah. Now, uh, Yolanda, can you help me with B, please? Uh, but okay. you can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Okay. You can't or you can? No, you can. Oh, you can. You can see all of Paris, but in bad of weather... Paris. Yes, but, but you can't see anything. Yes, you can't see anything. You see the but word over here that is contrasting the first one, right? Okay, let's submit this one and see how uh, did we do. Let's see, we should get 100 on this. Yes, very good, excellent. Good job, you guys are good. You guys are good, okay. All right, um, we have the, the rest of the weekend uh, of the week. Uh, Friday and the weekend to work on the platform. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send a message on the uh, uh, group, on our WhatsApp group. I will be more than glad to help you on anything if you need any help uh, in regard to the platform, okay? Uh, until Monday, um, I hope you guys, you have a nice weekend. Uh, enjoy the rest of the, uh, the evening and I see you guys on Monday, okay? Have a good weekend. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.